Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 7.6 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math book. 7.6 is called Renaming Fractions and Mixed Numbers. So, um, we're just going to go ahead and get right into the problem using the model that they want us to use and then I'll teach you how to do it without a model. It says Mr. Fox has 2 and 3 6 loaves of cornbread. Each loaf was cut into 1 6 size pieces. If he has 14 people for, for dinner, is there enough bread for each person to have one piece? So in other words, is there 14 sixths in two and three sixths loaves of cornbread? Well, in order to understand that, you have to know that a mixed number is a number represented by a whole number and a fraction. So this two and three sixths, it has a whole number which would be the 2, and the fraction, which is the 3 6. So that's called a mixed number. When you see a fraction with a big number in front of it, it's a mixed number. And you need to know that you can write that mixed number as a fraction. So you can take, you can turn it back into just a fraction to find out if there's enough pieces of bread for 14 people to come over. So to find out how many 1 6 size pieces are in 2 and 3 6, write 2 and 3 6 as a fraction. So, they've given us some fraction strips to help us. First, we're going to model what 2 and 3 6 is. So, they've gotten two whole pieces here, 1 and 1, and then three six size pieces. So, what we want to do is, well, you can go ahead and fill this in. 2 and 3 6 equals 1 whole plus 1 whole plus 3 6. What we want to do is we want to take these one whole pieces, these red ones, and we want to change them into six because we want to find out if we have 14 six size pieces. So in one whole, if we're talking about six, we know there has to be six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That represents one whole right there. And then... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 would represent the second hole. And then we'll still have our original 3 6 So if I count that up, this first hole is the same as 6 6 The second hole is the same as 6 6 And then we have our original three sixths that we have to add into that. So we know when we add fractions, the denominator stays the same, and we just look at the numbers on the top, so we'll have six plus six plus three. Six plus six is 12, plus three more is 15. So two and three sixths is equal to 15 sixths, and since the question is asking us if there's enough for 14 people. 15 is bigger than 14, so yes, there are 15 six-size pieces, so there is enough bread for 14 people. And there will actually be one six left over, because if we're doing that 15 and taking away the 14 pieces for the 14 friends, then that's one six left over. Okay, so that's how you do it using the fraction strips. Now, I told you I'd teach you how to do it just in regular math as well. So I'm going to take the same fraction, 2 and 3 6, and this will work for any mixed number that you want to change into a fraction. What you do is you do 6 times 2. So the denominator times the big number. 6 times 2 is 12. And then you add... The numerator. So we're going to add the 3. So 12 plus 3 is 15. And then you just write that over your regular denominator because we know the denominators always stay the same. So 15 16 gave us the same answer that we got down here after we added up all those fraction strips. So let me try another one. We have, let's say we have 4 and 2 thirds as a mixed number and they want us to change that into a fraction. Take my denominator, multiply it by my whole number. 3 times 4 is 12. And then I add my numerator. 
12 plus 2 is 14. And then I just go back and write it over my same denominator that I had before, which is a 3. So 14 thirds. So 4 and 2 thirds is a mixed number, and I write that as a fraction as 14 thirds. So that's if we have a mixed number and we want to write it as a fraction. But what if we have a fraction and we want to write it as a mixed number? We're going to do the opposite math. So the opposite, when we change a mixed number into a fraction, we did multiplication. The opposite here of multiplication is division. So we want to take 7 thirds and write it as a mixed number. I'm going to do 7 divided by, here, let me move this down here so we got more workspace. I'm going to be doing 7 divided by 3. 3 fits into 7 two times, which is 6, and 1 is left over. So this is going to be my big whole number. This is going to be my new numerator. And my denominator will just stay the same as it was. So 2 and 1 third. So let me do another one. So another example of taking a fraction and making it into a mixed number Let's try 9 fifths. So I'm going to do this fraction line, by the way, you can think of that as a division sign. So I'm going to do 9 divided by 5. So I'm going to write it out big here. 9 divided by 5. 5 can fit into 9 one time, which is 5. And when I subtract, I have 4 left over. Now, like I said, we're going to have this number on top is going to be our big number, our big whole number. This will be our new numerator. And my denominator will stay the same as it was before. So 9 fifths, my original 9 fifths, written as a mixed number, is 1 and 4 fifths. So you do division. So that's the lesson for today. It's changing mixed numbers into fractions or fractions into mixed numbers. And if you're in my class, write down the password Pluto and you should have filled out page 289 as you are watching the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message.